What are positive affirmations? How can you use them to gain greater success? Today, we're going to give you three tips on how to create an affirmation that really works. Be sure to watch through to the end of the video where we're going to share with you our favorite personal affirmations and how they work for us. So stay tuned. All that and more is coming up. Hi, I'm Kevin Patterson. And I'm Paul Brown. And this is Living with a Purpose Academy, where our goal is to positively impact the lives of one million people by helping them find and grow their passion and achieve their goals. So definitely subscribe if you're new here. We give you tips and practical tools for turning your dreams into reality. And this week, we're going to talk about the use of positive affirmations to support you in the achievement of your goals. We all talk to ourselves, positive or negative. There's a constant stream of thought running through our minds that amounts to hundreds of words per minute. Many of the thoughts that we have are harmless. They kind of like oil the machinery. But a lot of the thoughts that we have are negative. And those are the thoughts that we have to protect ourselves against. I knew this would happen to me. This never works for me, etc. Negative self-talk is a reality for most people. Positive affirmations change that internal monologue from negative, self-defeating thoughts to thoughts that are positive and support our goals. So, what are affirmations? Well, affirmations are positive statements that support the positive changes that you want to make in your life. There are three characteristics of a powerful affirmation. First, they are first person. They begin with I. The word I triggers the mind to pay attention to the statement that follows. For example, I support an active lifestyle through healthy choices. Affirmations are most powerful when they're in the present tense. Some actually call it auto-suggestion. You see, when the mind hears something stated in the present tense and it realizes that it is not reality, what happens is something is created referred to as cognitive dissonance. In this disharmony that is created in the mind, the mind begins to work to alleviate. And that's what the process is really all about. Our minds don't like cognitive dissonance and they'll work to resolve the conflict. For instance, if you really are having trouble getting along with your coworkers and you're becoming impatient, you might formulate an affirmation that says, I am patient with all of my coworkers. Your mind will help you close the gap between what you're saying and what you're actually feeling at the time. Thirdly, affirmations are most effective when they're stated positively. For example, a lot of people are really afraid to get up and speak in public. When they get up to speak in front of a group, they say things to themselves like, I feel sick, I hate doing this, I'm going to forget everything that I prepared. Now how does that affect their performance? Of course, negatively. To combat that, you want an affirmation that is positive. You don't want to say, for instance, when I get up to speak, I will not be afraid. Why? Your mind hears the last word, afraid, and you're triggering it to have the exact emotion that you're trying to avoid. Keep your affirmations positive. So, these are the three elements of an effective affirmation. First person, present tense, positive. And now, on to our favorite affirmations and how they've worked for us. As a public speaker, for me, nervousness can always be an issue. And so I've developed an affirmation that simply says, I am relaxed and confident speaking in front of a group. When I say that, I am relaxed and confident, my shoulders begin to drop, I feel more relaxed, and I perform better. From a personal perspective, when I first got into sales, I was very fearful of calling on CEOs. And as a result of that, uh, I was very reluctant to make those sales calls. It was holding me back from being successful in my career. I developed an affirmation that simply stated, I am fearless. I can't tell you how many times I said that affirmation. When I started my car and my phone actually powered up, it had the affirmation, I am fearless on it. 
As a result of that, I became very successful at making calls on CEOs. My sales career took off and I went on from there to even bigger and greater things. So the power of affirmation is something that can't be denied. You can use affirmations to improve your performance in every area of your life. So start now by changing that inner monologue and tapping into the power of positive affirmations. What kind of things do you routinely tell yourself? Do you use positive affirmations? And if so, how do they work for you? Tell us about it in the comments and check out what others have to say. I'm Paul Brown. And I'm Kevin Patterson, and this has been Living with a Purpose Academy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. If you know others who could benefit from this content, then share it with them. And if you'd like more content like this, remember to subscribe. Thanks for being with us today. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Make it a great day. We're going to share our favorite affirmation. Those aren't my favorite. I read them. <laughs> well, then choose your favorite. <laughs> okay. <Well. so. laughs> and be sure to watch through to the end of the video when we're going to search. And be sure to watch oh. through to the end of the video <laughs> when, when Cher's going to come out and sing a song. <laughs> and be sure to watch through to the end of the video when we're going to share with you our favorite personal affirmations and how they work for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are positive affirmations?